Welcome to part number 17 of Gran Turismo 5 A-Spec. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're going to begin the A-Spec events with the Sunday Cup. Let's go to the A-Spec events, finally. And... In A-Spec events, you are the driver, getting behind the wheel and racing with your way up the ranks. Each series is made up of a variety of races, some of which may have specific requirements, such as drive, type of drivetrain or make of car. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah, because we did all that leveling up in the special events, we can just do endurances right now if we want to. Hell, we could technically do the Sukuba 9 hours right now, but nah, that's gonna wait another day. Last time you did, you went for the Audi TT for all three. Oh, nice. So yeah, let's begin with the Sunday Cup. And I explained this off the recording, so I'm gonna explain this again. For each race, I'm going to use a separate car because there's so many cars in this game and there's about 102 different types of cars that I can use because obviously some events are championships, others are just single races. And yeah, I want to get, I want to have some variety here. So for the first car, for Autumn Ring Mini, I'm going to use this thing, the Volkswagen Beetle 110 Standard. Or 1110, 1100 standard, I mean. Now, I did give it some upgrades off screen, and I think this should work just fine. What's up, Android? The Yeet Mobile. Well, there you go. I don't necessarily need to do anything to the car because here we go the first race of ace back let's do this so here we go rolling start here at Autumn Ring Mini Turn off PCS and here we go Oh my god, the handling on this thing is so horrendous. The Beto. Car feels really sluggish. You remember this car from the Love Pug? Hey, what's up, Roland? And there we go, it's a second already. Beta was best car. This feels so slow compared to the Red Bull car. I, I, I mean, I know it's kind of a dumb thing to say because it's like, no shit, you're driving a Beetle versus a race car that has no regulations on it. But holy shit, like, that Red Bull event, I was really forcing the issue, really concentrating here, not so much, I'm just leisurely driving. Now the third gear, heading into the bus stop. Yeah, I guess this will do, Salika. The closest thing to the pod boy. Hey Chris, what's going on, dude? How are you? I didn't need to trip down the second gear. Two second lead over the Mazda 6? Really? Well, this thing is modified at the end of the day, but I did limit the power. I only give it like 69 horsepower. Then again, Autumn Ring Mini is a short track, so I guess our Beetle kind of fits here. And there we go, we win. At Autumn Ring Mini. Look at all those plebs we destroyed. We did it. Yay.
Look, look at that. We gained all that XP. We barely gained anything here at the Sunday Cup. It is Sunday Cup after all, so we really can't complain. But anyway, saving the replay. 500 XP is a lot for level 0, but level 33, not so much. So, now we move on to the next event, which is at Grand Valley East. And for this race, I'm going to use... Hmm. What car should I use? Where are you? I'm going to go ahead and use the Citroen C3. Because why not? The shoe or the po the boy boy? Good question, I don't know. Hey, what's up, Daniel? So here we go, second race of the Sunday Cup. That car is hideous. Jesus Christ, the Citroen is ill. I don't know. I, it's not a good looking car, chat. Maybe what doesn't help is that it's the, the, the standard model is just really bad. And one of the worst looking standard cars for sure. Oh no, the CRX! The grocery boy. Your mom car, yeah, look, yep. So, yeah, this is probably why they don't sell them in the US. They're terrible. I don't know, if there's a French manufacturer that's gone really bad over the last couple years, what I hear is Peugeot. A lot of people say that their newer cars are really cheap in terms of like design and performance and whatnot, like, they're just really bad. Brazil's hairdresser cars. Oh yeah, I remember the C3 test at Laguna Sega and B10. That one's easy. Not that bad. Once you get a hang of the understeer. This thing has some really bad handling. I'm actually surprised that the um, CRX is not behind us. That car was making moves early on. Oh, really, Chris? I didn't know that. Is that why Pojo's not around in the U.S. anymore? I didn't know they went bankrupt. I thought they just, I thought they just kind of pulled out. You know, maybe they just didn't see the market was worthwhile for them. Well, duh, that means bankruptcy. Or hell, maybe they just didn't want to, you know, pay the cost for this shit anymore. Yeah, Mitsubishi's definitely going downhill. Dude, Mits since the 2000s, like, I own an Eclipse, right? And that thing is super unreliable. It's a fun car to drive. It's fast, but... <laughs> Other than the cars being shit... Is Pojo really that bad? Were they really that bad in, in the, you know, when they were in the United States, like the 505s? I always thought they were neat little cars. Yeah, the Eclipse is basically a crossover SUV now, which is stupid. That's like if Toyota made, I don't know, the, the Camry a pickup truck or some shit, you know? It just doesn't fit. Of course, the boys are coming. Oh shit, the Sylvia's right there. Photo finish for second place. Oh, you are good car choose one. I don't know, Salika, that's a little bit too difficult. 
I think I just choose a uh, a Pojo over a good car any day of the week. It's like the Celica becoming a minivan. There you go. The cars they imported were terrible. Is your Eclipse the rip for her pleasure design? Uh, no, it's not the convertible top. I think it's the GS model. Anyways, uh, moving on. I think I'm going to go with the premium route for this one. I'm joking. I'm joking. I earned this bad boy, but I'm not using it in any of these races. Except for level grinding. That's it. So, I want to go ahead and... Fuck it. Let's use the Prius. I don't ever see myself using this thing ever again in any other race. Opinions on the Toyota Supra? Um, really? I, it's cool. It just kind of looks weird from the rear. Like I, I know everyone says it's basically a BMW Supra, but it's a cool car. I still like it. Yeah, the FT1 for sure was a better concept car than the regular Supra. <laughs> What's up, Liam? Yeah, I mean, the Red Bull Challenge was something completely different, dude. That was, you know, I, I was saying in my post-commentary, that was, you know, just serious driving, being fully focused on trying to get the gold here. We're back to doing these regular events. We're having fun. TRD 300 or 3000 GT style wang. Look, guys, we're saving the environment and we're racing for the lead. Barney, if I didn't see your comment before, I just didn't see your comment. There's a lot of people in chat, dude. Don't be a dick. Yeah, I did beat it, Liam. Dude, if, if I didn't beat it, I would be doing it today. But um, it took me four hours altogether. Yeah, lithium ion mining. Yeah, exactly. I mean, electric cars aren't really saving the planet still. Like, because you still have to do all the mining and whatnot. Which is still bad for the environment. I don't know. That's what, that's what I was like reading upon and you know, hearing that from a lot of people. Understeer is really disgusting on this car. It's a fucking Prius at the end of the day. Performance? No. Why am I expecting that from this car? The American Muscle Cars? Hell yeah, Gary. By the way, what's up, Gary? Um, yeah. American Muscle Cars, I mean, yes, they're meant for straight line speed and everything, but they're, they're still beautiful. Old school muscle cars are the best. I'm not too crazy about the modern stuff. Not too crazy about the modern cars. Like, yeah, the Hellcat's cool, the Challengers are cool, Mustangs are cool, but it's an i3. I have way too many of those in fucking GT Sport, dude. And there we go, we win! And we saved the planet while at it, yay! Oh, really? There was a Barracuda that actually handled pretty good? Jesus Christ, really, Ender? Well, I appreciate the, donate, the attempt at a donation anyways. Okay, so that is the Sunday Cup. And we basically win the same prize car as we do in B-Spec Sunday Cup. But instead of the Yaris, it's the Vitz. Euro Sport Edition. Which, that's gonna go ahead and segue into me saying this. I want to get Sunday Cup done first because Sunday Cup is Sunday Cup. 
it being, you know, like the original events and whatnot. So, yeah. What I'm going to say is this. After Sunday Cup, we're going to do all the one make and manufacturer races. And get them all out of the way first, because I feel like doing it like that. But here's our Toyota Bits Euro Sport Edition. Oh, really? It sounds like the German word for joke. How do you say joke in German? You can type it out, it's fine, Andrew. So here it is! Take a quick look at it. Again. You know, like we did last time. Fair name for the car. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so that is it for the Sunday Cup. So next time on Gran Turismo 5 A-Spec, we do the Vitz slash Yaris race at Fuji Speedway.